Was it too much for you? Loyal viewers, this is Saints Row the Third, and this game speaks for itself. For starters, it has Faith No More on the soundtrack. That's a check in the positive column. It also has tanks, miniguns, and flamethrowers. Saints Row the Third feels like it was written by a bunch of preteen boys ejected from a strip club for not tipping, but they certainly know their audience. The game revels in its filth and over-the-top cartoon-like violence. It's impossible not to compare this game to the Grand Theft Auto series. It's like they took all the funny stuff out of GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas and left out the dark cynicism found in GTA 4. Leaving you with non-stop laughs and mayhem in an open-world sandbox-like environment called Steelport. That's right, you can't go five seconds in this game without hearing about hookers, strippers, or gangs. It's simply ridiculous. But you know, they succeeded with it completely. While there is a storyline, you're basically just trying to take over the entire map, you know how it goes. After locating some gang activity, rather than wasting my time shooting them on foot, I'll just fly in with a helicopter and carpet bomb them. While listening to some good music, how about dressing up like a furry and using a remote control drone to bomb enemies? Yup, you can do that too. And more. Saints Row 3 has a lot of different ways to create explosions, mayhem, and chaos. And even more ways to customize practically everything in the game. You can easily collect vehicles and customize them, and since you're a leader of a gang, you can then make a phone call and one of your gang members will drop the car off to you. That's nice of them. Unless someone runs into it, then you shoot them. Another thing I enjoy about Saints Row the Third is the fact that you're nearly indestructible in this game. In fact, as you earn money and respect, you can even upgrade your playable character, making them more powerful and even more invincible. It's like you're an evil supervillain. And who doesn't want to play like that? The question is, does it eventually get old? Because the environment all kind of seems the same. I think they've packed so much customization and nonsense into this game that it is playable for quite some time. And then there's the storyline which I wasn't even paying attention to. It's simply there to unlock new weapons and vehicles, as far as I'm concerned. And is clearly best enjoyed when you outfit your character like this. Like the Grand Theft Auto games, you complete mission after mission, slaughtering gang members and meeting new and weird people. I would shake your hands, but them floors were a little sticky if you know what I'm saying. Where was she keeping that phone? I like the fact that the game never takes itself seriously. It's like Mad World meets GTA, and is made for those of us who enjoy non-stop explosions, mass chaos, laughs, and customization. The gameplay is also very good. The combat controls work extremely well for this kind of game. Which is good since you'll spend a lot of time mowing down bad guys, although you are a bad guy, so maybe they're badder guys. Show off. Oh, it feels good to 
kick ass. It's Saints Row the Third. All this and more. There's actually a lot of stuff I didn't even show you. Play it for yourself. I think you'll enjoy the game if you enjoy this kind of game. Now, if only there were something else to destroy around here. Perfectly normal Professor Genki Arena. That's right. And like any other arena, our contestant can pile up a mountain of cash in a hurry. This contestant, the leader of the Notorious Saints, has had some success in the reality climax already. Let's see if they can handle the challenges before them today.